What's up guys, it's the Ginger and the Bear and y'all, Mike Perry did something extraordinary and that is he smashed that like button down below just like you need to. Don't you want to be like Mike Perry? Yeah. That being said Knocking guys, out that knock, knock check out button. this video right here because this thing is wild. I mean, I, I for one would never expect this kind of behavior from Mike Perry. No, never, never. The fact that he would knock somebody a out florida native no with, way with a beach blonde tan kind of ghetto ass girlfriend would never ever ever do that no and especially i think this is the cherry on top like how would you expect somebody with face tattoos to do something so never. so reckless yeah, is there, if only there was something about him and his decision making that indicated recklessness what could that be that being said guys let's talk about it i i i actually don't really have that big of a problem with it. I think a lot of people will because you didn't see the 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 lead up. The lead up and the 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 guy was walking towards Perry. Basically Perry takes the fighting stance. The guy continues walking towards him. Then Perry has a nice little gazelle tuck, little gazelle boom, hook. Boom. And I think this is as the great Charles Sonnen said, I can't let you get close in his altercation with Wanderlei Silva on tough. Guys if you're in a conflict, even like as much as we'll clown on the Gracies occasionally and they're really awesome in some ways and one of the things that I do like that they teach is like in their bully proof class, they teach that if someone is within like an arm's reach of you, that they're a threat and that there's something that you need to look out. Totally true. And we don't do self-defense, that is not our thing, but we do do MMA and you can punch somebody if they're in your space. So if they're trying to walk towards you and in you're in a combat situation. I think, I think if somebody is yelling at you yeah. and somebody's walking towards you, it doesn't matter if they're drunk. It doesn't matter at that point. And I'd they're say in even your, especially. And they're in arm length. Yeah. I mean, you need to react first. You need to defend yourself. Yeah. And, and I don't really like... If someone's entering into that space where they can hit you, how many videos have you guys seen where someone gets sucker punched? There's yep. a million of them yep. online. Like, go off in the comments down below. There's there's millions of these videos where people are yelling, yelling, and one guy just goes, wham! Exactly. And they're right in each other's faces. And it, I that's why, to me, like, the guy, I think it's mutual combat when somebody is, like, continuing to show that they're aggressive and continuing to get in your face. And they're continuing enter into an engagement that is aggressive and i know a lot of people now these days do not get into these altercations the last time you guys probably got into an altercation was probably high school at least me at, at least like 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 a uh, well I, sorry for me is whenever uh, probably like maybe when i was 20 but that what and that was like five years See, ago that's casuals but, casuals the last fight i got into was last week you know what happened alex oh. susan tried to take the last roll of toilet paper and <laughs> i had none of that she won. Yeah. I don't have that toilet paper, yeah, but yeah, Susan beat the fuck out of Wesley. I was tried. I really tried hard. <laughs> I think I, I think that a lot of people are just like, oh, well, you should never hit somebody. You should never hit somebody first. You should never. If anything, hitting somebody first and knocking them out is probably more merciful than getting like just beating the fuck out of them if you're a professional fighter. Could you imagine if he was ready to go, started to do some combos on Mike Perry? Mike Perry would have fucking lit him up. And he just, he just hit the off button very mercifully, very mercifully. Mike Perry, IT specialist, he yeah. just hit the, he was like, oh, it seems like you have some malware in your system. Something's not acting correctly. Let's reset it. That being said, though, I, I honestly really, really do think, though, like, I, I feel like usually I'm on the side of like, oh, if you escalate to force when you're having an exchange of words, you're the problem. And Mike Perry said this guy hit him first. Uh, you know how much stock I put into the narrative? Yeah, of someone who was involved in the fight? Absolutely zero, especially when the video starts that late. It could be true, it could not be true. Regardless, to me, if somebody is entering you like that over and over and they're following you, they're even if they just get something. in your space once, like what would you rather happen? You punch and knock them out, or you're like, okay, I don't want to be the one to escalate things, so let's, sir, sir, let's engage in passionate debate, and then you yeah. get knocked out. Yeah. Like, I, someone entering your space like that is town to mount to them saying that we're fighting. If they're yelling at you and they can't hit you, yeah, that's different to me. Then if you sucker punch them, I have a problem with right. it. But if, or or if you're not like yelling, if you're just talking, but even then, like, that's why. People say like you shouldn't. 
if, if you're people, having any kind of conflict, you shouldn't be any closer than this. People try to fight fighters all the time. All the time. All, all the time. And and for some reason, I don't know if it's just with our monkey brain, we're just like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I see I see you train your whole entire life. I just got off of Call of Duty and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm gonna fuck somebody up. I, I'm gonna fuck up a professional fighter. I mean, honestly, I, before, I, before I, I had ever trained anything, I thought like, oh yeah, for sure. If I got an altercation, I'd be fine. And now yeah. I'm like, oh, well, I would be better than I would be before, but I, I have no confidence that I would not get fucked the fuck up because yeah. there's purple belts out there that do not look like they should be able to turn you into a human pretzel that do on a regular yeah. basis. And, yeah. and, uh, well, uh, and one, one altercation, like where it was, it was Conor McGregor when he punched that old guy was completely unacceptable. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like that, that's a whole, that's different, completely different. That, that, that's something similar where the fighter, Seems like they threw the first punch. Yeah, they threw the preemptive strike. In but Connor's case, he wasn't preempting anything. Completely yeah. different context to what was going on. The guy had his his back turned. He was sitting down, not a threat whatsoever. Yeah. And then Conor McGregor sucker punches him. And on top of that, Perry literally in the video, you can see him. He walks. He like circles away, and he stands like this. If someone continues to walk towards you when you're standing like this. What are, you, what are you supposed to expect that they're going yeah. to do? Honestly, though, even if this guy didn't know who Mike Perry was, he didn't know that he was a fighter, why would you continue to antagonize Mike Perry, who is like a very large, muscular human being, yeah. who's a very mean... He basically has no nose anymore. Yeah. And he has giant face tattoos. That's the guy that you want to try to pick a fight with? It makes no sense. That being said, guys, chime out, chime in down below. I know some of you are going to say, fighters should never hit civilians. Guess what? Ya mooks, fighters are civilians. I, I hate that. A thing that, have you seen this? Like recently the community started being like, there's MMA fighters and there's civilians. And it's like, no, MMA fighters are civilians unless they're in the army and arguably law enforcement. Yeah. That, stop it, stop it. Well, and also like, for some reason, like there's this whole, you remember like in martial arts when we were, we were like a kid, who was just like, oh, you need to just do self-defense. You need to make sure that you're not aggressive. And, and when you train in martial arts, you'll somehow reach the Zen, you know, like pinnacle of, yeah. of humanity. And like MMA, you know, has for some reason now taken the spot of, of, of pseudo martial arts. And they'll be like, oh, wow, you know, if you're a black belt or if you're really good at Muay Thai, that means you're a good person. No, you're not. You li literally, if you're a fucking black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you could be the shittiest human being ever. possible. Ever. And, and, and same with anyway boxing. Same, like, it's, it's like, why would we expect someone who's really good at football to be a moral authority? It's the same yeah. thing with MMA. It's, it's a sport. It's a sport even more violent than the others. So, I, I love combat sports. I love it. I think that I can instill a ton of really good values, but that doesn't mean you're a good person if you're good at it. And not saying I don't really have a problem. I have no problem with what Perry did here. I think that even if Perry hadn't taken the fighting stance and the guy still kept walking towards him, then he's hit him, I wouldn't have a problem with it. And honestly, I would not call this a sucker punch. Like, no, it, it if you stand like in a fighting stance, and I'm pretty sure in the video he says, I'm going to hit you, and they continue to move towards you and you hit them, that's not even a sucker punch. So I don't have any problem with this. I think this is not even close to being questionable i hope that the dude learned a lesson but he's otherwise all right that being said guys chime in down below ginger and the bear and we out <laughs>